Let me look at the frames. Let's see. Uh, it's looking good so far, actually. Okay, let's start. Hello, hello, hello! Oh, hell yeah. Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please. Let it just be Twitter. Let it just be Twitter screwing things up. Good. Awesome. Let's get started. Oof. All right. So, welcome. This is uh, the third time that I'm actually streaming this. And uh, so far, no dropped frames. So... Yeah, we're pretty good so far. Um, but yeah, welcome. This is um, my uh, replay of Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc, a game that I uh, grew up on when I was like, maybe like 11 or 12. I don't remember. Uh, I do know that like this game, I first played this game when the HD remake, not remake, uh, the HD re-release came out on PS3, uh, which, uh, for the record, folks, um, I don't recommend getting that version. It's it's not a bad way to play, but it's also, like, it has some weird visual glitches and stuff, and it's not, you know, that great. But, yeah, I'm happy to be playing this game again, and, yeah, I just want to re-experience a game that I grew up on in childhood. So, yeah. Let me just put in my name here. Um, which, I said this before in the last stream, but, like, what's kind of funny about naming the save files here is the fact that, um, like, Rayman 2 allows you to enter six characters for your save file, so you can actually spell out Rayman's full name. Uh, you can't with this one, because it's only five characters. So, you know, I don't know why they decrease it, but I guess that makes it a little special. Yes. Ubisoft Entertainment. Back when that subtitle actually means something. Ah, the red lumps. It's funny, these red lums don't actually appear as they do in the game. The, in the game, they're just kind of like red energy spears, whereas in these cutscenes, they actually have wings. I don't know why that's the case. Hello here? Oh, 
Oh, let me move the mouse away. Ah, uh, that's the best I can do. <laughs> How do I... What do I do, actually? Eh. I'm seeing some drop frames, so let me lower the bit rate a bit. After the cinematic. Here they are, the boys. <laughs> the plants move weirdly in this bit. I don't know why. Epic logo review right there. Now let me check the bit rate real quick. Settings output lower to like that amount, yeah. Alright, cool. Well, in the cinematic, How original. Parachute not included! That is a good question. Here, check out what I found. The manual. It's all in here. If you read the story, you'll find your way out. Once upon a time, there were lumps. Harmony, love, peace. Boring! Suddenly, a black lump transforms the red lumps into hoodlums. The world is in great danger. Ooh, here we go, here we go. It says here that Globox took off with your hands. Knowing what a scaredy cat he is, he's probably hiding someplace. It's not gonna be easy to get your hands on him. <laughs> hands, no pun intended. Oh, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention that every action wins you points. Let me demonstrate. Keep an eye on the counter. Guys, and pay attention. This is really important. Switch to combo mode. This is where things get really cool. In combo mode, your actions are worth even more points. But you gotta act fast. If your scoring stops, combo mode stops. One last thing. Points can buy you access to hidden levels. So try, Let's try to, to score, score big. big. This manual Whee. looks like a blast, but there's bound to be one or two useful things in it. It says here that you hit the jump button in order to jump. Wowie. Now that's what I call info. But here, <laughs> it tells you to hit the shoot button when you want to attack. Come on, don't tell me guys get paid to write this junk. I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to get a 100% score on every level. Uh, so the thing about Rayman 3 is that this game has like a point system, uh, as explained by Murphy, and uh, the points are like completely arbitrary. They're not actually like mandatory for finishing the game. They're just kind of like they're purely an optional thing, really. Uh, in contrast to like Rayman 2, where you collect yellow lums, and those are actually mandatory to finish the game. It's not really like 
it's not a good or bad thing, it's just kind of is. <laughs> it's just kind of a different thing. Um, so yeah. Some s simple platforming. You truly are the best. I sure am. What? This is out of control. The manual claims you can make a chopper out of your head. Make a chopper of your head. Ah, dang it. Sounds like someone's been eating paint chips again. Actually. Wait, where's the frog? Wait, where's the frog? I don't remember if there was a frog. Where are you? Aha! There you are. Don't call him that, Murphy. That is so rude. Gosh. I was just jumping. <laughs> Bravo, Ray Man. Th thank you. <laughs> ah, nice. Oh, look at this. This game is so beautiful. This came out in 2003 and it still holds up wonderfully. This manual just blows my mind. It explains the switch's trigger mechanism. Duh! Please, who's responsible for this garbage? I don't recall many instances of that button that we're gonna press ever reappearing in this game. I could be wrong, but it's definitely not that common. Whee! Hey! Rayman! Say, got room for a third? Now we can punch hard. Hell yeah. Can I make it? Yes! Awesome. Woo! Hello, stars! Hello! Wow! Rayman, you turned on the light! Pretty! I sure did. What I tell ya, here come the bugs again! <laughs> They're raiding the fairy council. Enough is enough. I was told that after Rayman 2, I'd be cast as a tormented artist who falls for a girl with great big eyes. And here I am, still playing a sidekick in a low budget flick. Yeesh. <laughs> I do wonder how. I, that line about calling this game a low-budget flick, I wonder if that's actually like a commentary on just how this game is kind of a smaller scope than Rayman 2 was. Because this game doesn't have Michelle Ansel as part of the team, so I imagine maybe that might have affected the production a bit. Or maybe I'm just looking too deep into it and it's just a line. Extraordinary. 
anti-disestablishment Terry and Alley extraordinary. Uh huh. I love this swaying punch mechanic. It's really neat. There's Andre. <gasps> Cash money. Quick, shoot him. I can't cover you much longer. Listen up, Pipsqueak. Soon I'll transform the energy from the heart into an army of hoodlums. Then I'll deal with you. <laughs> Whoa, what could this be? The laser detergent that transforms your clothes into combat fatigues. Combat fatigues? That's exactly what we need. You're right. Rayman, no! It belongs to hoodlums. The audio mixing in this game is a mess. It's, I mean, I guess I can't really expect much considering in this era that this audio issues are just super common. I don't know why, but yeah, this game's audio is oftentimes out of sync. Okay, let me backtrack to uh, the previous points. I probably fucked that up, but whatever. Aha! I know. Boom. All right. This part's a little tedious. I I don't know. I I guess they do expect you to actually uh, have your power up to get scores because that is a thing. Uh, in order to get even more points, you gotta have like a power up on, and that like, that like doubles the amount of points you get, um, which is. The, tr the trickiest part about getting a high score in this game is just knowing when to uh, not collect anything as long as there's like a power up in your vicinity. Uh, and the thing is, I actually did finish every section, every level with all the points. So, you know, uh, witness my greatness, I suppose. But yeah, I have a feeling that I'm not going to really do that for this playthrough because I am out of practice. I have not played this game in full in a very long time, so you know, it's gotta don't expect the best playing out of this. Even though Rayman 3 is really not that hard of a game, it's I, it's, it's definitely the most straightforward of the original trilogy. Alright. Whoop. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, not really back and forth, just left and right. Ba -ba -ba and wait a minute, I just heard. I just heard. Where is it? Where is it? Let me find it first. Uh, Cause I did hear it. Uh, it's so close. Where is it? Uh, wait. I just saw a red circle. Did I find it? Hear it. Okay. Oh, yeah, it should be. Nope. Where is it? Where is it? 
get back to that later. Uh, well, let me get the power up first. Maybe the audio is just playing in the other, the bottom floor because this is a two floor level. So, that might be the case. Oh, I'm so happy the bit rate is not bad. At least. go back again. Yeah, this is not this is actually one of the more awkward levels to get a high score on. And oh, there's one right there. Let me take care of that. And oh. Actually, can I actually uh Yes, I can. Nice. <laughs> Speedrun strat. I think. There's one right there, so I have to go back. Oh my god. If, if this level does not give me a 100%, I'm just sad. Like, I try my best game. What do you expect out of me? down below then. Yeah. I guess the sound just peeks through above floor. That should be enough, I hope. I just realized the tornadoes make like a weird sound effect. It kind of sounds like Mr. Krabs walking. Uh... Mr. Krabs walking type beat. Rayman charging his fist type beat. So it should be good. Let's move on. Please give me a 100%. 99%?! Oh my god! Come on! <laughs> That's funny.
sure. Boom. I remember this part being a little tight. Let's see if I can make it. One thing that is a little weird about Rayman's control in this game, even though I think he controls fantastically, is that there's like a little... His jumps kind of slow down a bit. Oh! That was close. And I just got foul damage. Which they just added for this game. I don't know why. But yeah. But yeah, every time Rayman jumps, he does like slow down quite a bit. Um, I don't know why they did that, because it's not really a thing in Rayman 2. <laughs> Maybe that's just something they did for the score multiplier, just to slow you down, which, thanks game. There we go. Alright. Boing. Boing. No boing. Ooh, the little base. Rayman feeling himself there. Oh my god, what is going on here? Were you minding a bit more quiet? Fuck off, Harry! Zelda did you get? Ah, uh, yes. Classic Zelda reference right there. See if I can make up the score. Oh hell yeah! It really does mean everywhere. Sorry. Meter just taunting me. Oh my god! It's an unspeakable atrocity! Andre is gonna reach the heart! It's the end of the world! This is nowhere! So that fairy said, oh my god, but like, it's kind of funny because they actually censored that line. Uh, I guess they don't want religious references, but it's kind of weird because it's like, this this world does have a god with Polycus, so is she actually referring to him? <laughs> I don't know. Great. You do lose, like, a single point if you get damage, but it's really not that bad, so... Boom, boom, boom. Love it. There we go. Is there anything down here? Oh yeah, actually there is. Nice. Bang. Oh no. Oh, no. Nice, nice, nice. I was worried about that. Raymond, here I am. 
Hi, Globox. You sweet boy. Oh no, he ate something sour. Bum. 77? What? What did I miss? Oh my god. Andre, where's Andre? Let's go ask the monks. Okay. Jeez, game. That's where all the world's energy is. Andre has touched it. Excuse me. These TNCs don't really look that different from how they appeared in Rayman 2. Like, their models look pretty simple, I guess. No, not simple, more like not much changes, really. Thank you, Grand Minimus. Look out, Rayman. Andre is a black lump, and black lumps are twisted. Maybe force Globox to drink plum juice. And we all know Globox is allergic to plum juice. See you in Rayman 4. Ah, that line. That line has lived in infamy. But it also has aged well because we did get Rayman 4. So, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. Let me. Aha, there we go. Alright! Yeah! Yeah! Very trippy. That was satisfying. Uh, is there actually anything on the other side that I need to know? Uh, oop. Let's see, let's see. Um,. All right, let's move on then. Yeah, 100%. So much effort. All right, can I do this right? It's been so long. Uh, all right. These are really neat. Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> this game's soundtrack is amazing. Oh no! I think that's what they're saying. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the camera's a little herky jerk there, but oh my god, this part's tight. I guess I have to like jump from left to right and then jump there, which, sure, I guess that works. Yeah, I think like that. Oof.
get a focus. Oh, there we go. Oh no! Uh, maybe I can redeem myself, please. Yeah, actually, yeah, I can. Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, 96%. That's lame. Oh well. We're in clearly a forest. Boom. What the? Who, who turned off the nice music? Hope I didn't break anything. Music, where are you? Shut it! And get me out of here! I'm thirsty! Oh. Raymond, I need medical attention quick! You'll never get to the doctor in the forest! My hoops will make you Nice! That was tight. It is not nice. Thanks, big nose. Look at I swipe from the hoodlums. Who are you calling big nose? Let me not collect these. Ah, hold on. It better not count my combo. Uh, <laughs> Rayman just teleported out there. Nice. Good job, game. Music is supposed to be playing at this part, I think, but, you know. This game's audio mixing, like I said, is a little questionable. Rayman, these disguises are getting a bit ridiculous. I mean, they're not even good. I recognize you right away. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm building up combo. Oh, yeah. That's good. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, I gotta go. Nature calls. Okay. You don't need to say that. Oh, I missed that. I hope it doesn't bite me in the ass. Give me a drink or I start nibbling his arteries. Let's see. Let me say that for later. Because I don't know if there'll be more power ups. Nice.
Oh. Oh, wait a minute. No, never mind. Yeah. There's no power up here. There's a sequence that'll just lock me out of here, so let me get these. Sure can, Glowbox. These piranhas are funky. Ninety-nine percent. Did I can't believe that. So I, I guess that yellow gem did fuck me up. up for the score. I don't know why I'm so hyper fixated on just getting 100% scores. At this point, it's already too late. <laughs> but I want to be the best that I possibly can, so... Just get that with 
the green tornado power up because that lasts longer. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Oh no, Globox, don't drink! <laughs> oh no! Yeah, one more power up. I gotta go finish my yogurt. You have fun with that yogurt. Hi Lavender, how's it going? Yeah, I got the I got the frame drops issue settled out. Um you may still get the occasional frame drop but otherwise it's like much better than last time so yeah glad to, glad to have you here Ooh. oh no I made a run away dang it Ah, it's out of here about the insomnia, but yeah, I'm happy to see you here too. Hope you get some good sleep. Uh, uh wait. Okay. Ah! Okay. There's something down here, right? Yes, there is. Cool. Wait a minute, is there something back there? There is. Nice. And uh, by the way, like... Um, I checked like how long it takes to beat this game. And assuming you're not actively going out... Uh, for every secret in this game or whatever. Uh, the game is roughly about like five hours long, so like, I imagine that if I'm committed enough, I'll eventually finish this game. Um, but you know, a five hour stream does sound a bit long. Ah! Dang it. A five hour stream does sound a bit lengthy, but you know, I think I can manage. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm gonna get the best score here. Oh well. <laughs> you 
yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. I'm in love with this game's art direction. Like, I want to make a game that looks like this. It's just so pretty and artistic. Yeah, it really is. All Rayman games look very beautiful. Like, they just have some of the most wonderful art direction that I've seen in video games. And uh, Rayman Origins, which was the first Rayman game that I ever played. It, Rayman Origins, I, I said this multiple times, various times, but Rayman Origins is the reason why I became an artist. <laughs> And if it wasn't for that game, I never would have have as much appreciation for art as I do now. So I give a whole lot to Rayman for basically, in a way, kind of changing my life. So, yeah. <laughs> and this game came out in 2003, so, you know, it's like, this is one of the more most impressive looking games of its time. Uh, even on both on PC and on like GameCube and PS2, just stellar art direction all around. This, yeah, 2003. <laughs> it's it's crazy how well this game holds up. All right. Uh. Oh wait, I'm backtracking. Oops. <laughs> All right, breakable door. Gotcha. Cool. What I love the most about the art direction of Rayman games is how a lot of the textures in these games are very clearly painted. Like, usually there are some other games that relied on like taking a detailed 3D render and just kind of turning that into 2D textures, uh, which is a, you know, solid way of getting some nice looking textures of that era and in general, really. But like Rayman 3's textures, as well as Rayman 2, it's like, it's very clearly painterly, and that gives the game a unique flavor. Oh, nice! 100%! This is like the third or fourth phase? Yeah. Rocket Rayman. Okay. Let's see. Let's go over here first. Oh, right. Controls are inverted. I have to get used to that. I could also just tweak the settings, but uh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not usually a fan of inverted controls, especially with if there's no option <laughs> to change it. Um, you know what, let me just go into options right now, because I might as well not deal with it. Uh, advance, 
vertical inversion on yeah I think that's how it works or not uh Let me see. Okay, I, I guess there's no way to change your inverted controls. Never mind. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's tight. Yeah, I can't change it. I guess this is by it. This is by design, I suppose. It has to be experienced this way. <laughs> yeah. You know, it would be really nice if they actually offered... Oops, it would be really nice if in that HD re-release back in, like, 2012 or whatever, they would actually, like, add the option to, like, invert the controls. But, you know, uh, that's, like, a very bare-bones port. So, like, I don't expect they did. Ah. Okay. Oh, wait. Get that. Yeah. This is fortunately one of those uh, PS2 GameCube era games where the, ca the camera is controlled by the right analog stick. So, you know, that's nice. Uh, you know, it's sad to say, like, I never really got the chance to grow up with, like, the 3D platformers of that era, like, I still haven't got the chance to play um, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Sly Cooper, like, those are like the big three, and I really want to, because I know those are like, great games, and, yeah, especially since, you know, I love 3D platformers, so, I'm kind of doing a disservice to myself. Um, but also, like, it's kind of hard to get those games, and, like, there is, like, HD re-releases for, like, PS3 and stuff, uh, but apparently, <laughs> apparently the ports are not the best, there are some weird quirks, and I'm usually, like, a stickler for, like, wanting to play the original games as they're intended, especially if they don't have quirks, so, yeah. Yeah. I was the same way, too, like... It wouldn't be until like the Nintendo Wii where I actually got into gaming. Uh, a lot of my early childhood experience playing video games was just playing the Game Boy Advance, and even then I only had like one game, which was the Namco Museum, and I just played a lot of like Ms. Pac-Man on it, which might actually be the first video game I ever played. Um, and other than that though, beyond Game Boy Advance, like most of my gaming experience as a kid, like really young, was Flash games, uh, which kind of created a weird moment for me when I eventually did get a console to play proper games, because it's like, I played a lot of Mario Flash games, and a lot of my experience with Mario comes down to my Flash game experience, and it, it's kind of funny, because you know, Flash games are not like an accurate portrayal of what video games were back then. Like, when I actually played New Super Mario Brothers and Paper Mario and stuff, I quickly realized that, huh, they're really not... The Flash games I played regarding Mario don't really have much... Don't really convey to me what Mario is actually about. Um, especially since, you know, I also saw those Flash animations that you know, a child should not watch, but, yeah. But, yeah. Let's see. How do I get up there, actually? Uh. Wait, I just hear something.
The great thing about uh, the chain power-up is that unlike other power-ups in this game, it actually lasts a long time, uh, which is just perfect for just wanting to grind points in this game. Uh, because uh, this game has like a point system, and when you collect a bunch of points in a row, there's like a combo system. But on top of that, uh, the power-ups that you get also like double the amount of points uh, you receive. And in this game, like, um, basically like the power-ups have different, they last for a different amount of time, and this power-up just lasts the longest, so, yeah. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. Rocket. Oh, camera. Pfft. Thanks. Okay. There we go. A drink. <laughs> ah, glow box. Wait, I hear help. Where are they? Where are they? Where? Hmm. Let me just go over there real quick. Oh yeah, the bubbles. And let me get the blue chain power up to get more points. Cages. Uh, oh yeah, that's where I had to do to use a rocket. Fun playing bingo. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, this part. This part's me. Backtrack a bit and let me get the blue power again. Wait, I just heard something. Where is it? Where is it? You know what? Never mind. Sorry, little critter. I want to look at you, but I can't. I just want to play the game.
I don't know why this game is showing me this cutscene again. We already saw it. <laughs> All right. Did I get 95%? Not bad. Nice. Oh, is this actually the boss fight? Yeah, it's a boss fight. What are you screaming at, Globox? <laughs> he just screams, okay. <laughs> this song goes. Rayman 3's soundtrack. Um, I love all the Rayman games music, but I think Rayman 3 might be my favorite. Like, it's a really versatile and eclectic soundtrack. Lots of really interesting styles at play. S something I always really like about Rayman as a series is how, like, each game has like a very different feel. Like, all the original trilogy doesn't really have the same feel. Like, Rayman 1 is like a really cutesy, cartoony type of game. Uh, Rayman 2 is a lot more dark and serious and moody. And Rayman 3 goes for a much more crass and absurd sense of humor. And it's like, I love how each game commits to that kind of their own tone, basically. I don't know who these announcers are. <laughs> Thank you. 
one more phase, I think. Yeah, I think this is the last phase. <laughs> Wait. The enemy's own shots can actually hurt other enemies? Huh. That's kind of funny. not mess around. They, they really want you to work for that points. basically done with the level so yeah that's neat and wait a minute I just noticed something oh wait no never mind it's just reflections okay but is there anything right around here no I could have sworn for every part of this when every level ends with this little area there's like a secret section that gives you more points but maybe I'm misrem misremembering uh, Let's see. Doesn't seem to be the case. So, yeah, we'll just move on. Ah, gotta love these FMV cutscenes in their beautiful, crusty glory. What we have here, if you don't mind. Ah. ah, I see you swallowed a black lump. We will need to resort to drastic measures. is worse than I thought. You see, the black clumps has taken a refuge in a fistula by going through a kidney near a spare rib. You will need to consult a stomach specialist. I know a very good doctor who lives in the land of the living dead. I leave you now. I must go clean my instruments. <laughs> Alright, more of this. Yeah, um, <laughs> so this is something you, this is a, something that's only in Rayman 3, is these weird, uh, rhythm levels. These are called Teensy Highways, and, uh, they're quite funky. Ooh. 
Oh boy. This game does have like um, a bunch of mini games that you unlock, but I'm pretty sure like this kind of gameplay is not its own mini game, which is kind of weird because I mean, look at it. It seems like it can make for its own decent game. Ah. So uh, to kind of explain what's happening in the story, because uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this game or not, but I'll explain anyway. Um, so the basic story of this game is basically uh, there is this black num a uh, black lum named uh, Andre, and he was supposed to take over the world, but then he got uh, accidentally swallowed by Globox, our blue frog friend. Um, and right now we're basically trying to go to a doc the doctor just so they could get Andre out in out of Globox. Um, and that's basically like the first half of this game. It's basically just. <laughs> Globox going to a doctor, basically. And it's kind of, it's such a funny story to me because like, in the first two games, it's like, Rayman 1 was all about like, Rayman trying to save the Electoons and the world from a guy named Mr. Dark. Rayman 2 was all about uh, saving the world because it has been destroyed by the robot pirates and uh, you basically have to uh, rescue your friends and all the civilians of the world. And in this game, it's basically like uh, you need to take your best friend <laughs> to the hospital because he ate something bad. So, you know, I love that that's the kind of angle Rayman 3 is going for. Also, I'm surprised I got a 100%. I missed a bunch of gems. Wow. Anyway, uh, welcome to the Bog of Merc, uh, the game Swamp Level. Um, that actually reminds me, um, I, I've showed this uh, a little bit before, but I have a feeling that Rayman 3 was in some way influenced by Shrek, because like this game came out in 2003, and Shrek was like, what, 2001? So like, that's basically like the right amount of time before like, Shrek basically made its cultural impact, and it's never really been confirmed if this game was inspired by Shrek, but I would not be surprised if that was the case, because I feel like both of them basically have, like, a very similar tone and style of humor. Um, is Rayman 3 as funny and as thematically consistent as Shrek? Uh, not really, but, you know, it's a cool thing that Rayman 3 wanted to do, and I respect it. Um, although, of course, I am a bit mixed on the game's attempt at being funny. I think the comedic dialogue in this game is a mixed bag all around, but, eh, what you gonna do? Give me gems. And I, you know, I brought up Shrek because, like, it's funny how we start this swamp level up with, like, Rayman landing inside a bathroom stall? Huh. A bathroom stall inside of a swamp. Hmm. That seems very specific. But anyway. All right. Oh. oh no! I'm frog. Oh, 
saw something. Oh wait, no, never mind. Okay. Ah, camera, please. Alright. 90%. Okay. Is that so? Sorry, just sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm still kind of working out the kinks of streaming. Uh, as long as it's fine, then yeah, it's good enough. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna tweak it a bit more, so, yeah. Whoa! That's cool. <laughs> Even the game's most murky level happens to be so beautiful. How does this game do it? Um. Yeah. <laughs> so, a funny thing about the audio thing, actually. Rayman 3 does have some questionable audio mixing, like especially in cutscenes where like the dialogue and character animations are often uh, way out of sync. But, um, which I feel like that's just kind of like a common thing of that era. Like for some reason, like that era of gaming just have some really weird audio issues, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it wasn't as bad as it was in Rayman 2. Like, it was actually pretty solid all around. Rayman 3 in particular just has a rough... Rayman is just pure darkness right there. Ah. 
Oh, this song's nice. Rayman is, yeah, Rayman is a very good series. Um, they are a bit hard to come by because they're old games. So how I'm playing Rayman 3 is through good old games. Uh, the first three games are not on Steam for some reason, but only in good old games. Uh, you can play Rayman Origins and Legends on Steam, as well as uh, Rayman Raving Rabbids, which, it, that that's a game. And yeah, it's a series that I feel always deserves so much more love. Like Rayman is like one of the most underrated video game series ever because it's like their games are so beloved, but they're not like the most successful thing ever. Like Rayman Two was the most popular game in the series. And the game that trounces its popularity was Rayman Raving Rabbids, which, you know, that game sold about like 14 million units, and it basically just um, started the Rabbid series. Oh, nice! Yeah, Origins and Legends are fantastic games. Beautiful games. Uh... Oh, really? You did? Uh, was it on Wii? Yeah, I I never own Rayman Raving Rabbids on Wii, but I do have it on PC. Um, it that game is so weird because it's like Raving Rabbids is a party game, and yet it has a strangely heavy emphasis on a single player campaign. Because in order to get any mileage out of the multiplayer mode, like you have to play the single player campaign to unlock mini games for that mode. So like, it, yeah, the Rayman Raving Rabbids experience is basically you gotta play the campaign if you want more out of your multiplayer mode. Um, and are you aware that uh, Rayman Raving Rabbids was originally meant to be a sequel to Rayman 3? Like it was supposed to be a 3D platformer? <laughs> because um, something pretty cool happened last year where like the prototype for Raving Rabbids leaked and uh, I'm actually a part of a discord server of uh, a public discord server for uh, people who are just interested in the did I steal something? anyway uh, pe for people who are just into uh, the prototype and it's actually crazy how much how different Raving Rabbids was because like the final game is basically a minigame compilation like it's not a super impressive game by all means but like 29% wow I missed a lot but yeah it's not a super impressive game but like the prototype was like it was meant to be like a free roaming pseudo open world platformer with like big wide open levels and a story that's meant to parody like uh, cheesy sci-fi horror films and uh, there was like writable animals that gives you a lot of cool transportation options and it was like yeah it, it's just like it is so ambitious and so it is honestly ahead of its time because it's like it's the in the discord server we've joked that Rayman 4, uh, the Rayman Raving Rabbits prototype is basically like Sonic Frontiers before Sonic Frontiers because it is that kind of experience initially. Um, and the game basically changed into a party game because of strict deadlines. Uh, specifically, 
a Nintendo executive came into Ubisoft's offices the other day and were like, look, um, the Nintendo Wii is about to launch and you guys are not even done with the game yet, so you have two options. Yeah, it was mostly scrapped. Uh, you have two options. You either have to uh, keep making the game and miss the Wii launch window, or uh, you you basically just change the game to meet deadlines, basically. And and basically that's why it turned into a mini game compilation. It was basically just a way to have the game out by launch so they could get more sales. Um, and it did pay off because that game sold about 14 million units worldwide. It was very successful. Um, and and you said you were asking if it was all scrapped or mostly scrapped. I say mostly scrapped because the funny thing about the final release of Raving Rabbids is that even though it is just a mini game compilation, it is basically built off of that prototype. Like a lot of code regarding it being a 3D platformer is still in the final release. Uh, there's even like a fan mod uh, for Raving Rabbids that restores Rayman's platforming move set, and it's like, yeah, it's just a full-on platformer, and and uh. And it's kind of funny because having actually played a pro prototype myself, which uh, you can actually play the prototype through Internet Archive uh, if you want to try it out. Um, it's like a lot of elements that I've experienced in a prototype did make its way to the final release. Like the game itself, like when a game turned into a mini game compilation, apparently it took around like four months to turn whatever code they have planned for the 3D platformer into a minigame compilation. Just four months! That is insane! And it's like... It, it's honestly more impressive to me that they actually made a functional party game out of what is essentially a bunch of spaghetti code from a platformer. Like, huge kudos for making that work. Yeah. Yeah, I did finish Raving Rabbids. I did finish Raving Rabbids a little while back, and like, I'm I'm just kind of blown away that like the single player campaign of Raving Rabbids is basically just you play a series of mini games and that's it. Like it's 15 days each day consisting of like four mini games. You have to finish three to unlock the final mini game to end the day and it gets rinse and repeat and it's like that's their excuse for a single player campaign. I am astonished. Entering my domain. Let's give him a warm welcome. Yeah. Like, no joke, when I was playing through Raving Rabbids and I was just experiencing it for the first time, I was like, I was getting kind of tired of the campaign by the end because it's literally just minigames and nothing else. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> anyway, let me chase this guy down. Come on, camera. Shoot it down. Ouch. But yeah, like, the final release, it is actually mostly using assets from what were attended for a 3D platformer. Like, one of the most the most fascinating thing about Raving Rabbids, the final release, is just how, even though it is basically just a minigame compilation, there are just certain elements of that game that seems really weird. Like, the game conditions you into thinking it's just a bunch, it's about goofy rabbits. But then, like, and then, but then suddenly they just randomly introduce, like, 
giant robots and gritty machines and there are some weirdly dark moments in the game like uh, there's a shooter mini games and the last shooter mini game is like this weird dark lab that has like a giant does that has like this creepy robot chasing you and it's like why what is all this stuff that doesn't have like because if people think about the rabbits they wouldn't think of like evil robots and some strange science fiction elements like that stuff went away when the rabbits became more popular and the first game just has those elements because it was basically leftovers of that initial vision of them being the next big Rayman villain. So it's just a fascinating game, even if the game itself isn't really that amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah. you How much health does this guy have? Let me go the other way. You will be perfect in my living room, stuffed and mounted on my wall. <laughs> you will be perfect in my living room. Stuffed and mounted on my wall. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, Raving Rabbids is on Steam and good old games, but if you want to experience like the Wii version, like yeah, I, that's ideal. I've heard that like the Wii version of the game is basically the best way to play the game just because of the fact that the game is basically designed with motion controls. Um, on PC, it's it's fine, but it's like it was clearly made with the novelty of motion controls in mind. So. <laughs> no one can stop me. Yeah, yay me. All right. Awesome. Time to move on. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, where do I go, actually? It's a bit of a maze. Okay, there, there it is. 96, not bad, not bad. Coming in like a wrecking ball. Oh!
One of these weird graphical glitches. Yeah, this joke kind of sucks. Hey, Rayman. <laughs> How are we gonna get to the doctors? Yeah, early two thousands. Why are you like this? You might notice. Um. You might notice that Globok's voice in that cutscene actually sounded different from how he usually sounds in game. So here's the thing about the voice acting in this game. Um, Rayman 3 has both Billy West and John Leguizamo playing as both Murphy and Rayman. Uh, Murphy is a green fairy that's only the beginning of the game. Uh, but yeah, John Leguizamo voices Globox in this game. Um, uh, and, you know, there's a famous, not, I don't know famous, but like he is a movie actor. He did play a uh, Luigi. Yeah. I, I don't know why the voice acting is different in like the FMV cutscenes. I guess they had like a voice actor previously, and then they got like a celebrity voice actor to. <laughs> they got like a celebrity voice actor uh, in the last minute, and they didn't bother to change all the dialogue. So that's kind of weird. But yeah, it's kind of funny because John Leguizamo also played Luigi in the live-action Mario movie. Um, and in Rayman Legends, uh, there is a Luigi costume for Globox. So, you know, it all comes together. It all connects. Oh. Ba -ba -ba. I have to go powder my nose. You don't have any right to detain me against my will. I have rights. I want to see my lawyer. <laughs> anyway, time for some uh, lum plum carrying. So plums are like a reoccurring element in the Rayman series. Like they first appeared in Rayman One. Uh, in Rayman 2 and in, the, in this game. Now the Lums in the first two games are like 
pretty cool. In Rayman 1, they could be used to bounce across the environment and you could ride on them. And in Rayman 2, like, you could do the same thing and you could, like, ride the plum on, like, lava. Like, this is, like, some really powerful plums. Uh, but in Rayman 3, like, they are so lame in this game. Like, they're, they're much heavier this time, so you're just really slow. And you only use plums just as platforms this time. So, yeah, it's pretty lame. I don't know why they've made the, lump, the plums worse in this game. It's quite disappointing. Uh... Wait, can I actually destroy those piggy banks with the rockets? Oh, yes you can! Okay. Interesting. That's very funky. Anyway, this is the land of the livid dead, um, which it's kind of funny. Like the last level was very murky and dark, uh, but this is actually pretty pleasant for something called the land of the livid dead. Come on, camera. Oh yeah, this part of the game. This part's really weird. What other game can you think of where the main character has to fight his own shoe? <laughs> ah. Yeah, I don't know. This game does this sometimes and it's very weird. <laughs> It's a wonderful, wonderful, magical series. Uh, come on. Some behind the scenes info with Rayman 3 is, so Rayman is the brainchild of a man named Michelle Ansel. Um, he is the director. He is the director of the first two Rayman games, but he wasn't involved with Rayman Three. His only involvement with the game is basically just giving Rayman his redesign. So, but basically, this whole game is essentially like it's basically a B team sequel 
and they really did explore a lot of really weird ideas with Rayman in this game. Yeah. It's it's weird to think that there was a point where Rayman could be considered triple A because it's like Rayman Origins and Legends are incredible games. They're really awesome, but they're also like much smaller scope games than what you would usually expect out of a triple A release. Like I think it is said that because of like how good the engines for those games are, the teams for those games are usually like a lot smaller than any other Ubisoft game. So, yeah. But yeah, there was a point in time when Rayman was considered like pretty high profile. Um, like if it wasn't for Rayman, Ubisoft wouldn't have been like a big name in gaming, which, I mean, uh, Ubisoft, I, I have some beef with Ubisoft as to many people, but, you know, it is how it is. Hold on. Uh, okay. The last Rayman game was Rayman Legends, the, the last major one at least, and that was back in like 2013. It has been like over... <laughs> Good. Have that boycott. Um... It's been like over 10 years since the last major Rayman game. <laughs> and it's like... Technically, Rayman is still around. Like, Rayman has had a few mobile games. Like, there's like Rayman Adventures and... Oh, shoot. And uh, Rayman Mini. And it's like... You know, it's neat, it's cool that you guys are still doing something with Rayman, but I, you know, I would really like another mainline game, and preferably I would love another 3D platformer, because I feel like we're long overdue for another 3D Rayman game. Because Rayman 2 and 3 are just incredible 3D platformers, and they just, they're just really unique. Uh, alright. There we go. Strangely enough, I think this is the only level in the game where Rayman actually, like, swims. Um, in Rayman 2, Rayman can actually swim underwater with, like, pretty decent swimming controls for an early 3D platformer. Uh, but in Rayman 3, they basically just simplified it to he only swims in the surface. And there is a boss battle later on that does take place in underwater. And it's like pretty weird because it's like the only time where you control Rayman underwater and it never happens again. I believe that there was meant to be like a full on underwater level in this game, like a full world of underwater gameplay that was just removed uh, in the final release. So maybe that's just basically like leftovers from that kind of era. Okay. There we go. One thing about Rayman 3 that 
um, is a little contentious is that it does have a bit more combat than the usual than the first two games. Uh, that's basically like it, the main defining aspect of this game. Really, is that there's a lot more combat than usual. Um, and granted, I think the combat in this game is a lot better than Rayman 2 because Rayman 2's combat was like very basic projectile combat. Uh, and Rayman 3 does do a good job of like expanding upon it and adding a lot more enemy variety. Uh, but there's also just a lot more. Yeah, the combat is actually pretty good in this game. Like, I actually think it's one of the better combat mechanics in a 3D platformer because it's like. It's very simple and flows well with the platforming, and the level design does a lot to make each combat encounter uh, pretty unique, especially later on. Um, but there is also just, you know, a lot more combat in this game than usual, and that's one aspect that some people are not a fan of. Uh, Rayman 2, by comparison, does have a lot more platforming, and just a lot more set pieces that are, more, that are not re related to combat. Um, it's kind of interesting. Rayman 3 is like, as a sequel to Rayman 2, it's like, it is remarkably smaller scope than Rayman 2. Like, first off, it's a lot more linear. Like, the the second game had like a world map, and there are the occasional split pathways. And there is an incentive to like go back to levels because, uh, you know, you need like a certain amount of lums to progress through the game. And, you know, what better way to assure, you know, you can get those slums is the ability to replay the levels. Um, in Rayman 3, it's like, there's no world map this time, and it's basically like, there's never a point in the game where you have to actually play the previous level to progress. It's like, it's very straightforward and to the point. Um, and it's not a bad thing at all. Like, I think Rayman 3 works really well with its more streamlined design. Um, but it's also like Rayman 3 just has less levels than this, the last two Rayman games. So how it kind of works is every level in the Rayman series typically are divided into sections. So like, I'm basically in this one level and whenever you see me uh, finish the level and it just ranks how many points I have, that's basically like an end of a section for a level. And that's basically true for every Rayman game, but in Rayman 1, uh, Rayman 1 had like 18 levels of varying amount of phases. Rayman 2 also has 21 levels of varying amount of phases. Uh, Rayman 3 has like 9 levels, uh, but the, the levels themselves are generally like a lot longer than 2 and 3, so it evens out. But yeah, Rayman, 1, Ray Rayman 3, technically speaking, has less levels than Rayman 1 and 2, which is kind of funny. Oh. Poor Glowbox. Oh, yeah, I forgot, there's a secret area. Yeah. There you go. Awesome.
Oh, I love this song. Alright, you have a good night. I'm great I'm glad you're here. Oh. Yeah, thank you so much. Precious boy. 100! Yeah! Nice. Oh shit. Okay. Well, let me go back for a little bit. to go. I have an appointment with my psychic.
Dang it. I could have gotten like a lot more points. Damn. Oh shit. Let's go down. Is there down? Yep, there is down. It's not often in these types of games where like the amount of score you accumulated actually like is a hundred percent completion on its own. It's not very common, I feel. Wow. 
wow. Here's the shoe. <coughs> Ooh, should have. Ah, uh, should have covered that. I'm sorry. <coughs> Where is the shoe? I want that shoe. Oh boy, the shoe is being a little tricky. This shoe is giving me a workout. There you are. What? 
Nice. Come on, you. Where are you? There we go. Aha! There you are. Come on! No. Woo! Don't run away from me! Yes! Woo! That was fun. I feel a little woozy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dude. Ninety-four. Oh, so close. Globox, stop beating your boogers! I feel like I'm sitting in a Tish Lorraine! <laughs> Let me check something real quick. Uh, just want to double check. Oh, thank you, Carmen. Is there anything around here? I don't think I ever checked here before. No, not really. It's kind of weird because it's like... It's kind of weird because it's kind of... Boss time. How does this boss go again? Right, you have to guide the missile. Yeah.
very weird boss. Like the only time this type of gameplay ever happens. I don't know what is it. This part is so weird, like why is this the only time this kind of gameplay happens? Hmm. <sighs> this part kind of gives me Rayman Origins vibes actually, like Sea of Serendipity. Yes. Ah, Romeo, my homie, my pal, Dude, the bestest no buddy. Bad. Well, it must have been a late night. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> my colleague explained everything. <laughs> wow, <it seemed laughs> like you swallowed a black lump. Major bummer. You see, black lumps reproduce like some kind of crazy weed. <laughs> They're really wacky. <laughs> Let's see if we can, uh, you know, hook you up with something to take the pain away, huh? How's that sound? <laughs> Hold on a sec here. Hmm. himself in your brain, see? And the problem is, I can't find it. <laughs> but I know a guy who can help you. He's like a specialist in, like, hollow cavities. <laughs> and he lives in the desert of the Canarin. Well, gotta go. Need to go water my plants. <laughs> See you in Rayman 4, Romeo. A lot of you, actually.
path bridge splits here. And this is the last Teensy Highway level, I think. So, yeah. It was fun while it lasted. Rule 3. jump there to get those gems. Buy me some plum juice, please! <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what? He's just floating! What? Okay. Thank you. 
If you want to cross the desert, you need to use the tunnels. But it won't be easy. The tunnels are swarming with canarin, and those beasts are invincible. Yeah, well, you got a better idea? You bet your bet um dollar I do. Okay, listen closely. Oh my gosh, it's audio syncing. <laughs> Never. If they get their claws on you, you're dead. Well, it was a nice knowing ya. me in the eyes my beautiful black eyes <laughs> should there be music playing right now I I, I guess not huh did, did I glitch it? it in his eye. Crush his bone. Da -da -da -da. I have to get Grandpa his sponge bed. Okay. <laughs> They're off Just standing the there. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, the zombie chicken eggs. 
forgot about this. Seventy one, wow. Well, at least I got a bonus level. This is one of the coolest desert levels in any video game. It's just so unique. right here. Oh, 
Oh, right, I remember now. I have to get the canary and to step on that switch. Come here, guys. Oh, shit. Come on. There we go. Now they're moving. I'm sure that it's better with salt. Oh, wait, that's the end of the level? Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> Ooh, 7%. That's brutal. Get away from me, zombie chickens! <sighs> Let's see. I love the lighting in this area. The orange and cyan. It's really lovely. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I need a uh, lockjaw. Where do I get lockjaw? Wait. Oh, okay. Ah, this classic set piece. It's just like a warp point to that area. Hmm. Interesting. Let me backtrack. Sorry. Someone clearly didn't take their cough, sir. Let him run. Need better with song. Crush his bones. <sighs> Spit in his eye. this bit
Freeze! What? Okay, damn. Noticing some frame drops. Uh, hopefully that resolves soon. Okay, good. The frame drop stopped. Good for you.
Alright, reflux. Get away from me! Oh my god. Skip this cutscene. 
Oh, I guess I can't skip cutscenes in this game. Okay. realize something. It just says just chatting, but I mean that's not what it is. Is there a way how do I change category? Hmm. Okay, never mind. Then I guess I'll figure that out in the future. Oh, that's bold. That's... that's not fair.
god. So close, so close. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I wonder what kind of power the tech this gave me. Wait, which button is it? What a level. What a section. Ah, two sons. Thank you. 
Boy. It's 23%! Whoa! Okay. What did I miss? Hear me! 
to multiply. Steal the scepter from your king, and I will serve you, Rayman's head on a platter. <laughs> Like they're going to invoke the Leptis and gain unimaginable powers, dude. Ah, this door leads to a shortcut that will allow you to catch up with them. Now hurry! These doctors are cool, but if they want us to hurry, they could at least give us a hand. I mean, come on! For this, all right. This song is giving me like gorillas vibes. Like wow. This sounds like something I would hear like G sides or D sides. Hmm. Oh no! Dang it. Sure did. Oh, I forgot about this. This looks cool. Roughly three and a half hours. We're basically close to the end of the game. Dang. What? We're not there yet? Is this what those doctors call a shortcut?
dang it. music is wild. Think I know how to open the door now. Smiley face. There. Ooh, it wasn't easy, but I did it. Super smiley. Oh, that looks so nice. God, that gives me like Max Bionicle vibes. Wow. That's so beautiful. Sixteen percent. Whoa. Oh, right, right, right. Because there's secret rooms that has a lot of gems. Yeah. Like another job for me.
Transitional area looks hey, so cool. I was here to open the doors for you, huh? Oh, no, 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 no need to thank me. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, yeah, this part. <laughs> percent <laughs> wow <laughs> oh this level the snare in this song is so uh, in your face What was that level? That was... something.
was just floating. What? What is this song?
Hmm, okay. Enemies, damn. Oh, my God.
Oh. 73%. Sure. Wait. Why was it missing a fifth star? Was that a is that a glitch? Huh. Coming glow box. Hi Benny, how are you doing? Hey, uh, I'm just playing Rayman 3. Uh, it's about like, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually about close to done with this game right now, so yeah. Nice to see you, Benny. <laughs> How are you doing, Benny, by the way? Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is basically the first proper long stream I ever done. I'm almost like four hours in, and it's like, huh, wow. I'm actu I actually made it. <laughs> oh, nice. How was the birthday party? Uh, 
Uh, by the way, if you notice like any uh, frame drops and stuff, it's brief. Uh, I'm still working out the kinks with OBS. I'm glad it was very cool and fun. <laughs> Alright, so... What is... Where we left? This is Hoodlum... Hoodlum Hideout, and then the next level is the final one. So, yeah, I'm basically close to done. Oh yeah, of course. I'm, I'm open to asking questions and all that. Yeah, I'm I'm glad the audio is good. Uh, I was worried at first because it's like I heard like the audio was echoing from my friends and it turns out it's because I have the desktop audio on for the stream, so yeah. Yeah. And um you know, I'm just learning this. The recording for the stream is actually from what I could tell, the recording doesn't actually have frame drops or any dips. So yeah, when I upload uh, the stream on YouTube, uh, it's going to be relatively smooth. So, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ow. Alright. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Benny, um, how familiar are you with Rayman? Um, because obviously I'm playing Rayman 3, and uh, you know, I'm happy to just talk about this game because it's a pretty dang good game. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Rayman is a series I've grown up on as a kid. Um, oh yeah, the, the games are great. Uh, I recommend basically all of them, except for like the first Rayman game, because that game is like ridiculously hard, uh, even for my standards. But, uh, but yeah, Rayman is a great series, and... Um, Rayman 3 is a game that I remember being fascinated by because, like, the only time that Rayman 3 has ever been, like, properly released, re-released in a modern platform was, like, Rayman 3 HD for PS3 and Xbox 360, and it's not, it's, if you were, if you want to play Rayman 3, I don't recommend the HD version. Like, it doesn't, it's not bad, but, like, it has some weird graphical and audio issues, and in general, it's just kind of, it's just kind of a cut-rate port, all things considered. Uh, I am playing this game on PC through uh, Good Old Games, and uh, with some fan patches, uh, you basically have a, what I think is the definitive Rayman 3 experience. Yeah, Rayman Legends is a good game to start with, I think. Um, yeah, like... I don't know. Besides Rayman 1, you can't really go wrong with any of them. Legends is great. Um, I think... I don't know if I like Legends or Origins more. Uh, the thing with those two games is that they're pretty much identical in terms of their gameplay. I think I prefer Rayman Origins because I find it to be a more cohesive and consistent experience, but Rayman Legends is a wonderfully great and creative game in its own right. It's it's really good. <laughs> no, uh, Rayman Ray TV Party. I don't know if that game's on PC, but yeah, I never played TV Party, but I've actually heard from a few Rayman fans that it's actually like the weakest of the Raving Rabbids Wii trilogy, so you, maybe you're not better off playing that one. <laughs> Unless you have, actually. Yeah. Alright. But yeah, Rayman, Rayman 3 uh, has always been a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> oh really? It is actually the lowest rated? Dang. 
I did not know it was that poorly received, but yeah. Um, Rayman 3 is a game that I've always quite liked. Um, and it was especially special for me back then because it was like Rayman 2 got a lot of ports. I mean, my Rayman 3 only got like a couple. And yeah, Rayman 3 is just like a very cool game. It's not as. It's not as like solid as Rayman 2. I do think by comparison, Rayman 3 is a bit more. Uh, I don't know how to say it. It's a bit more underdeveloped, especially by the second half. But it's still a dang good game. <laughs> a funny thing, I actually did play and finish uh, Rayman Raving Rabbids a few days ago, and it's like... It's a game. <laughs> it, it, it's certainly a game. Yeah, I figured they were all highly rated. Um, Rayman Raving Rabbids is such a strange game, because, like... It is a party game, but like, it's a party game that has like a pretty big focus on its single player content. Like, in order to get mileage out of the multiplayer stuff in Raving Rabbids, you have to play the single player to like, unlock mini games for the multiplayer mode. So like, yeah, like, the Raving Rabbids experience is basically, you gotta play the single player campaign to get some mileage out of the multiplayer experience. And it's like... It's such a weird single player campaign because it's basically just it's all it's basically the the game loop of the single player campaign is basically uh you have 15 days. Each day consists of four mini games you have to play. Uh, finishing 3 out of the 4 unlocks a final mini game that finishes the day and rinse and repeat. And it's like like that's a game loop, I guess. But like why 15 days? <laughs> like, by like the ninth day, I was getting tired of the campaign. I can't believe they thought that was something they thought. Yeah, that's a perfectly substantive experience for single player. <laughs> um, and the minigames repeat after a while, so it's not like a very impressive collection of minigames anyway. So, it's such a weird beast of a game. <laughs> and yeah, it is it's such a weird game because like this person, you know, that person in a review said it's like budget minions and like the most interesting thing about Rayman Raving Rabbids is the fact that from the beginning it was intended to be like the next major Rayman game. Like Rayman Raving Rabbids was originally intended to be a sequel to the game I'm playing right now. It was supposed to be like an open world, free roaming 3D platformer with an emphasis on combat. Um, <laughs> and it's like, the game went through some serious development hell where like, they got like about eight months of work on like the 3D platformer. And then an executive at Nintendo came in and were like, look, listen, uh, the Nintendo Wii is coming out soon. Yeah, I, but I should I should note, Benny, that uh, Globox does have a wife. So, you know, that scene in particular is especially weird. Um, and actually, Globox's wife only appears in Rayman 2 and never in this game. So, make of that what you will. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway. So, like, Rayman Raving Rabbids was originally going to be the next mainline Rayman game. And then suddenly it turned into a party game compilation because of strict deadlines and the developers wanted to release the game during the launch of the Wii to assure it was successful. And it was a very successful game. The game sold about like 14 million units worldwide. So it clearly the effort paid off. And, and, and by the way, this version of Raving Rabbids, where it did turn into a minigame compilation, it is said that it took about four months to turn it into a minigame compilation. Four months! And it's like... Holy cow. Like, the final game is nothing remarkable. It is a cheap minigame compilation. But knowing that it was a 3D platformer that got turned into a party game that in a span of four months, that's like 
that's honestly impressive that they actually make a functional game out of Rayman Raving Rabbids. Like, I'm actually impressed. And, yeah. And, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but just last year, December 24th, uh, a prototype of Raving Rabbids leaked. And I'm actually in a public Discord server regarding Rayman 4. Uh, I'm just kind of a lurker there. I'm not like a modder or anything. And it's like... I'm just learning a lot of new information about Rayman Raving Rabbids through that leak, and it's like, wow, like, this game could have been so much, and it didn't turn out that way at the end. It's just like, yeah, it's just like, can you really, th can you think of a game where it started off as like one thing, and then it became something entirely different? Yeah, uh, stream in Discord, and and by the way, like um, fans have actually made a bunch of patches for the prototype, and currently they're in an effort of restoring a lot of content in like one world for the leak, basically to make it like a full game experience with that one world, and it's really really cool, and I I I, I can't wait to show it off in the future, honestly, if say in a stream because I think it's a perfect game to stream. Oh. Dang it. Uh. Oh. Okay. There we go. <sighs> but yeah. Uh, Rayman Raving Rabbids. What a game. Oh, okay. Well, you have a good night, Benny. I hope you have a good sleep. And, and thank you for hopping over to my stream. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. See ya! issues. Wait a minute, 
Was that like, the Rayman 1 design? Oh, that's cool. I never noticed that. Yeah, like that board. That's amazing. That's cool. I like that. Oh, no. percent <laughs> sure i'll take it honestly I, I, I think i'm just gonna ignore the scores at this point i'm basically almost you done with the game the foundry, the black lungs of Some Super Mario Bros. 1 2 action over here. I wonder what's over here. Air 
traffic control has announced that the Leptis is about to land on the tower summit. This one definitely feels most like Rayman 2 in a way. Just this industrial facility. It's really neat. Whoa, what's up with that camera? Oh, this part's really cool.
time for the great escape. <laughs> what? Rayman 3! The Great Escape! Oh wow, okay. <laughs> By the power of the ancestral scepter, I invoke the Olympus, bringer of night and father of the Canary people. Approach and give me your power. Oh, nice special effects.
Alright. Let's move on. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Okay. should celebrate Rayman. That was ridiculous. Oh. Again? More? Oh my god. Oh, this is actually kind of fun.
Just have it there. Oh. <sighs> wait, wait, what just happened there? Wow. Okay. Wait, what just happened there? Finish inventing chocolate toothpaste, man.
Sorry, TNC. I had to let you go. Was there a rocket? There was. Was there a rocket? Yeah. Was there a rocket combat fatigue that I missed?
what is up with the backgrounds? What is going on? So that's nice. Oh yeah, this level.
Dun, dun, dun. Check out these gears. Remarkable. Andre's already the heavy machinery. What a precocious child. Wow. Check out Andre's place. Think of the party potential. Andre, can you hear me? Your loft is really cool. They could use a few more windows, though. Oh wow, what what is going on there? Okay. Then and there. Raymond! <sighs> Look what I found! I can't find the brakes! Go box! Go box! Are you okay? Go box! <laughs> <laughs> Admitted you were scared. Wanna live? Wanna live? Ah, my shape! This is trying to be like the finale to Rayman 2, but it doesn't really work as well. <laughs>
Oh boy. Andy, I know you can hear me. Stop being a bad boy. Come back to the good side. Hey man, looks like you found the flusher. Mmm, it even smells good. Very impressive. This system looks pretty efficient. Doesn't leave anything behind. <sighs> that was a level. What is that sound? What? <laughs> oh. Wow, Reflux! You're so big and strong! Yes, Emmy. With the energy from your mighty scepter, I will be able to reproduce! INFINITELY! <laughs> yes, Andy. Yes, Andy. Did you say anything else? No, Andy. Okay, we're just here now. <laughs>
Okay, what was that? Man, it's making. with this. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Hopefully that means I can actually do it twice and not three times.
Oh my god, please. There we go. Come on. This environment is really cool. It's just... yeah. One more. One more. Oof. And that, uh, look at that worm. Hey, we're 
we're back where we started. Looks like we get a full night's sleep after all. Hey, what's the matter, Glowbox? It's Andy. I miss him. You know, he's happier now. Look at the red lungs. How happy they seem. I don't care. I want my Andy. I'm how happy sure they seem. Like he doesn't know. Besides, I wouldn't know how to do it. You have to scare a red lump. Ooh, I hate to imagine what could possibly scare a lump. Flashback. <laughs> that's one way that's a that's a note to end on sure oh man that was Rayman 3 I'm so happy to have played this game again it's actually been like years since I've actually finished this game back when I was back when I was actually like 12 or 13, maybe? Uh, around the time Rayman 3 HD um, came around. And yeah, I remember as a kid, I just couldn't really put this game down. I was just really sucked into this world that they've made for this game. And, you know, Rayman 3, it's, it's complicated comparing this to Rayman 2 because, like, you know, the gameplay of both games are very similar, but, like, they have such a really different approach to how they take the gameplay, because Rayman 2 is just... I say Rayman 2 is a very well-rounded experience. It's a game that has a lot of platforming, a good bit of combat, a lot of neat, fast-paced set pieces, and epic moments that, you know, really makes Rayman 2 feel like a grandiose adventure that uh, is befitting of its plot, which was a lot more serious, a lot more high stakes. This game, meanwhile, really hones in on the combat, which was the aspect of Rayman 2 that is the most criticized, I would say, and it definitely excels in that. It is a much more fun combat system, it is a much more fulfilling combat system, and the game does a pretty dang good job of combining the combat with the platforming. There's, you know, some really fun uh, platforming moments in this game, and in general it's just, this is just a very consistent game all around, like, there's no real serious low points, I would say, outside of like, the finale, which I, I feel overall that's the moment where the game is kind of running on fumes because it is just non-stop combat and it just keeps going on and on and it, honestly the, the, the game does not really end on a really good note unfortunately but it, it's not bad it's just pretty underwhelming like you get the sense that after you know after Andre came out of Glowbox uh, the story just kind of happens. <laughs> like, stuff, you're just going from place to place in a very quick manner, and there isn't a whole lot of build-up to the finale. Like, you just blew up the hoodlum hideout, and then suddenly you're in the final level. It's like, oh, okay, we're here already. Um, so yeah, but, you know, ragging on the finale aside, like... Rayman 3 is such a really unique experience. Like like Rayman 2, it's a kind of game that you can't really compare it to. You know, it has elements that are shared 
among other 3D platformers, but like how Rayman 3 handles it, how Rayman 2 handles it, it's like there's not that many 3D platformers that are quite like Rayman 2 and 3, and it, it's the reason why I hold 3 to such a high regard, even when it's a bit lopsided at a point. Like, I still think Rayman 3 is a worthy installment in this in the Rayman series, and um, maybe a bit of a hot take. Uh, I don't I don't like saying hot take. It's kind of meh. I think I like this game a little more than Rayman Legends uh, because my favorite Rayman game is probably Rayman Origins, and Legends is more of the same. It should be basically like more of the stuff that I love about Origins, and it does, but, you know, by comparison, I do think Legends is a bit more inconsistent, you know? The Murphy levels aren't that great, the levels are generally a little more gimmicky, and not as focused on, you know, the platforming that I really like in Origins, it, even though it still has a good amount. And, in general, I just don't like the fact that the story is even more bare bones than Origins, and that the overall structure of the game just feels really inorganic and it doesn't really commit to the idea that you're an adventure like Origins. Um, it's still a great game. I would still call it like a 8 to 9, 10 out of game, you know, but Rayman 3 I think I like a little more just because it's just a bit more committed to its tone, its ambitions, its you know, I think, and I do think it's a bit more consistent to Legends, like, even if it doesn't reach the high points of Legends, I still think that Rayman 3 is a generally damn good time all overall. So, yeah, if I were to put Rayman 3 anywhere in my Rayman tier list, it would probably be at third place, maybe. So, like, from worst to best, it would be, like, Rayman 1, Rayman Legends, Rayman 3, Rayman 2, and then Rayman Origins. That's how I would rank the games. They're all good games. I can never really say, you know, one game isn't worth playing. Uh, I say, I'm, I say with cautious, I say with Rayman 1 is the cautious recommend because it is a brutal game, but, you know, it's, the, it, Rayman is just a great series of games, and yeah, I'm happy to be done with this game. I, I don't know why I decided to play this game for my birthday. Like, I, I guess I just looked at Rayman 3 and I thought, you know, it's a straightforward and short enough game that I really like. And, it, you know, it's the 3D platformer that I got into after I played Rayman Origins. So, you know, I thought it's a good enough game to basically make a stream for my birthday. <laughs> um, but yeah. That was Rayman 3, and I think I'm going to end the stream off. Uh, let me mute the audio real quick, uh, because uh, copyrighted music if plays if you leave the title screen too long, so let me take care of that real quick. Uh, there we go. Now, uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, scroll down, okay. Hmm, okay. Oop. Uh, hold on. Oops. Uh, I'm just scared all of a sudden, and that's because, uh, okay, there we go. Uh, let me figure something out real quick. This is a bad way to end the stream. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that's how I edit. Okay. Rayman 3 birthday stream. 
look behind you. Alright, cool. I uh, got that done. Uh, let's see, what's edit panels? What is that? Is there a way to... Eh, well, it's fine. Never mind. Alright, well, I'm going to be ending off stream right here. So, um, I know not many people are up this night watching me. And that's totally fine. I don't really expect anyone to, like, const suddenly watch me. It's totally fine. Uh, but yeah, I'll be heading out. Thank you all for watching. Uh, like the two people that did. And, uh... Uh, see you later. Good night.